In this tutorial, we'll look at a couple of real-life smooth shading examples. First, we'll use angle values to fix the smoothing on this B. Then we'll focus on this printer part, which requires more specific attention. To show some of these concepts, it's a bit easier to demonstrate them in a 3D package. It's common to tweak smooth shading on machined objects. Here's the letter B inside the computer program called Maya. If we zoom in on this rounded surface, we can see the lines from the faceting of the polygons. So we want to make these smooth. Let's select the object and make all the edges smooth or garage shaded. As we can see, the shading has gone a little funny. Behind the scenes, the vertex normals are pointing in irregular directions. Instead, we can set a tolerance level, so only the edges with shallow angles will be smoothed out. Let's try 30 degrees. Much better. We can see that the shallow angles have become smooth while the harsh edges are left sharp. But we still have a problem in this join area. The angles of the edges here must be less than 30 degrees. Instead, let's try 15 degrees. Much better. Now the large angles keep their creasing and the small angles are nicely rounded. Of course, not all programs are identical to this. Some use different tools, but they all achieve the same results. Here we have a plastic printer part. It has some complex shapes. Here we're looking right up close to one area of the object where we can see the faceting. So let's make all of these edges smooth. Even though the rounded parts look better, the problem of strange gradients on the front faces is occurring. Let's select some of these polygons and convert them to edges. Now we can crease them or make them hard. It looks a lot better. But we've still got a couple of obvious lines in the middle here. It looks a bit odd. So let's select some of these edges and make them soft. Again, we've got our gradient problem. So we're just going to select these bottom edges and make sure they're hard. See how the shading changes slightly? And we'll do the same to this top area. Now the surface looks a lot better. We still have some creases in between the edges, but we've kept them in places where it works pretty well, just below the rounded join of the lip. When we zoom back a little, we can see it all works pretty well, and it will hold up nicely on a high resolution image.